Um, I am so excited for what this one has coming up here, oh, this gal. I am excited too because I mean, it's the final countdown. I'm going all Europe on everybody. <laughs> but uh, yes, we are less than 72 hours away from NASA's expected liftoff to the moon. This is a live look of Artemis 1 on launch pad 39B at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. You're looking at the most powerful rocket in the world expected to launch Monday morning on an uncrewed test flight to check out all the systems of the next generation of human spaceflight. All systems are still pointing to go for launch and we are counting down. The next generation of space flight technology that will take humans farther than ever before will lift off from launch pad 39B. Target launch time is 8.33 a.m. on Monday, August 29th, with backup dates set for September 2nd and 5th, but the timed launch sequence will not change. The countdown clock starts at T-minus 45 hours and 10 minutes, triggering an intricate series of events preparing the launch pad, rocket, and space capsule for flight. If at any time errors or anomalies are found, the countdown stops to allow for further investigation. Assuming all goes as planned, the tedious task of powering up each component of Artemis 1 will take several hours. At T minus 8 hours and 40 minutes, a weather and tanking briefing will take place. This is the point for go or no go on fueling the rocket. If it's a go, it's time to fill her up. And for more than three hours, liquid oxygen cooled to minus 297 degrees and liquid hydrogen cooled to minus 423 degrees will be pumped into the huge core stage tanks and go through a series of tests and top offs. In all, more than 700,000 gallons of this propellant will be ready to fly. At T minus 40 minutes, a final briefing and a 30 minute hold before the launch director calls upon team members for a go or no go for launch. We're down to T minus 10 minutes when a flurry of internal power ups begins. At T minus 30 seconds, automated launch sequencing begins in the core stage. Small hydrogen burnoff sparks precede the actual lighting of the four main engines at T minus 6.36 seconds. At T minus three seconds, 400,000 gallons of water begin dumping into the launch pad to control flames and help prevent damage from sound waves. Steam begins to billow. At zero, the solid rocket boosters ignite. And once that happens, there's no stopping. Tethers separate and 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust will push Artemis off the launch pad and into history. And I get to be there for it. I am so excited. Chris Blake, my videographer, who is amazing, and I head down to Florida tomorrow. We will be providing live coverage, of course, on Sunday. And then Monday morning, we wait and we watch. If it lifts off, we have quite a show. If it doesn't lift off, we still have quite a show to <laughs> tell everybody because there is just so much that is packed in here. Cleveland has played an absolutely integral role yeah. in getting this thing off the ground, at least getting to this point and then getting it off the ground. Uh, and actually, a few years ago, we here at uh, Cleveland at NASA Glenn Research Center hosted a reception for then uh, Center Director Janet Cavandi, and they invited in Team Artemis to be a part of it. Team Artemis, th these are the folks who are potentially going to be the next people on the moon, the first woman on the moon, the first person of color on the moon. They are in training. They've been in training for a couple of years, but that's the next generation of astronauts. And so we, of course, will be uh, talking a lot about them in the future because this uncrewed flight is to prove all the systems work so that those people can get to the moon and beyond. Absolutely incredible stuff. We have so much to tell you about this entire project. And as a matter of fact, Monday night at 7.30, I have a special to present to everybody. We're gonna take you inside Artemis. We're gonna talk all about the pieces parts. We're gonna talk about the mission as a whole. Again, that is Monday at 7.30. That is launch or no launch. <laughs> yes, that, that can still be shown. So stay tuned because uh, that's going to be kind of a last minute bit of a scramble for old Clingster down there uh, on the beach, but that should be very interesting. <laughs> I am so. so excited for you. Thanks. I, I can't wait to see what you bring back. Yeah, it's been a great team effort here too. Well,